Welcome to the program. I'm Rebecca Rainier, and just like the song says, I'm so glad you're here. Uh, we have this thing, and a lot of cities have it, called Restaurant Week. Here in the Toledo area, I would encourage you to come out to one of our local restaurants. It's a week full of local food, healthy food, and uh, a way to contribute to a thing called Leadership Toledo in our area. Like I said, a lot of a lot of cities are doing this now, encouraging people to go out and have a good meal at local restaurants. So, um, like I said, I'm getting sick of cooking. I'm bored. I'm lazy. I'm sick of winter. There's just so many complaints I have right now. So, luckily, I have some things to inspire me. I've got a couple of fantastic chefs to show me what Thank kind you. of inspiration you have in your kitchen. And so, very first chef we have joining us, we've got like I said, a couple of different restaurants represented today. Uh, we have Matthew Lawrence from Mansi's. Hello. How Manc are you? I am great. And Good. Mansi's, if you don't know the Toledo area, is a classic Toledo name. It's where you go when you get a promotion. When my husband made partner, we went to Mansi's. You get a steak dinner. It's like ingrained in the fabric of who we are in Toledo. <clears throat> so, um, and then, of course, all the additional restaurants from the, you know, from the kernel of the one that is, you know, on Phillips or... The Steakhouse. The yep. Steakhouse. Yep. So, uh, I would always tell you, come to Mansi's if you're coming to Toledo. You can't do Toledo without going there. That's right. Well, that's the <laughs> Blue Water Shorties. We're here for you, so... Absolutely. Yeah. So, uh, but we're going to move away a little bit from classic right now. We're going to go to healthy, because this right. show, we, we try to be healthy. We don't always succeed. But um, you've got some healthy ideas, mm -hmm. and I always like to see how does a chef turn a dish into something that is good for us but tasty as well. Right. So what are we going to make today? Well, chef? right, today we're going to take a piece of uh, West Coast halibut, Pacific Coast halibut, <clears throat> and we're going to put a sear on it to start. All right. What do you look for when you choose halibut? Well, I mean, you know, uh, big fillets for one, obviously, you know, fresh uh, for two. Mm -hmm. um, you know, that's really the... What I look for more that's than not. So yeah. That's always what I want to know too when I'm shopping. Did I do I mess it up at the get go? Right at the grocery store? <laughs> no, I mean you want to you know go to a reliable uh, uh, fish house or mm -hmm. you know someplace like that here in Toledo to get your fish. I mean we get it from obviously uh, our uh, halibut comes from Foley's out of Boston, Massachusetts. You know they're a reliable company. They've been in business for well over a hundred years. So. You know. All right. So when you sear, I mean, when where do we go? You. Uh, you want a nice hot smoking pan. Two minutes pan. on each. Well, you know, if you're going to finish in the oven, yeah, you're going to want to go just okay. a couple minutes on each side to get a nice, uh, really nice golden brown crisp sear on it. And then you would probably finish it in the oven just uh, maybe a few more minutes beyond that. And you've got it pretty hot. Yes. And while that's searing then, if I could just slide over here real mm -hmm. quick, we're going to make... And, you know, we've got the above cam, so hopefully they'll be able to see. Sometimes we do. Right, oh, gonna... yep. And the root cam. My roots are looking good. Okay. We're going to make a uh, truffled honeyed uh, dressing to kind of drizzle the plate with whole grain mustard. Uh, some local honey here. I love honey. Mm -hmm. I put it in Just everything. <laughs> extra thick too. Look at that. There's a little bit of the actual. If you look, well, you probably can't see it from there, but there's actually a little bit of the comb still in that from the honey comb itself. Wow. This is the whole grain mustard. I don't know that I've ever used that. Yeah. yeah. What? What's the benefit? Uh, you know, it's just fresher. It's 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 a little bit better quality. It's not you know just regular cheap. You know, everyday store-bought honey. This stuff is uh, <laughs> actually comes with the comb attached to it. We serve that comb part on our cheese plates at the restaurant, and then we take the residual honey and we use it in dishes all similar to this. So, a little bit of salt and pepper, and then uh, truffle oil. And I've got the recipe here, and we do have some uh, measurements because this is the thing that you just eyeball it, and it goes in there. I'm just gonna go with the flow, honestly. Right. You know, you throw a little, you know, you taste it, you know. Always taste as you're cooking. I'm put a little bit more. Smell that truffle oil? Yeah. That mushroom is really pungent. <laughs> really? Yeah. And so you're looking for a little bit of a brown there like yeah, that? Yeah, nice sear okay. on it, yep. <laughs> Saying we're making a lot of fish. We made some fish last week too, and a it's uh, extra virgin in here too. Actually. Perfect because we have a lot of people that uh, observe Lent, and you're looking for something different on Friday. Absolutely. That's it. Turn the heat down just a touch on that. We're getting a lot of smoke. I don't recommend you touch your fish with your bare hands. He can do it. He's a professional. You like ah? All right, so we get a consistency here. Okay. 
And then next, <clears throat> we're going to dress some pea shoots and some golden pea shoots as well. Look at the colors. That's the key. Some it sea salt. Beautiful. A little bit more of this extra virgin olive oil. Just light. You don't want to overdress these shoots. And you really don't want to overmix them either because they're obviously very, very tender. Mm -hmm. They start wilty looking. Exactly. You'll bruise them. Yep. There you go. So now I would obviously, you know, if I was at home and I was mm -hmm. doing this dish at home, I would take that fish and I would put it into a separate pan or even keep it in this pan and pop it in the oven, you know, 450 degrees and probably take literally like two to three minutes and it would be completely finished and cooked. So. This is where uh, we do go wrong. Also, we overcook fish. Yeah, yeah. You don't want to overcook fish. You want to keep it nice and moist and flaky, you know. Uh, some people are really paranoid about that. We get a lot of requests at the restaurant for overcooked fish, and you're like, mm -hmm. oh, what are you doing? I mean, right. you know what I mean? It doesn't have to be completely... Uh, I have iron stomach. I'm like yeah, fine with it. Yeah, just... no, you want a nice, uh, you know, it should just be translucent in the okay. center, really is what you're looking for. And then the other accompaniment that we're offering uh, with this dish here is a uh, corn penny, which is gluten-free. Just a little bit of red sauce over it to keep the calories the low. low gluten-free? It's a corn penny, yeah. Okay. Yep. And there's other varieties on the market. There's other types. There's, you know, different uh, linguinis that are you know, gluten-free and... I've even seen like, you know, quinoa pastas and stuff. But what do you think of it? How is it? Have oh, you yeah. tried it? I think it's your... delicious. Okay. Okay. All right. I, like, <laughs> yeah. I have. Nothing beats corn whole... penne. <laughs> <laughs> there's a whole new world of pasta out there, though. I mean, you, it does not have to be closed to you if you have gluten issues nope, or if you have. Nope. And that's okay. what we offer at the restaurant. We get a lot of requests for the corn penne, too, because it is a gluten-free option. When mm -hmm. you come to an Italian restaurant, you think, what am I going to eat? Everything's full of starch or, you know, bad, uh, yeah. you know, if you have celiac disease and that kind of thing. So we try to accommodate a little bit of everybody in our response. Are you seeing that as a dietary issue more and more? Huge. Huge. Yeah, huge. The requests come in constantly for uh, for gluten-free products. We even have a gluten-free pizza crust on the menu now. So you can, uh, you're not, you're, you, you have options at Mance's Italian is what I'm getting at. So Very good options. All right. Okay. So next I think we'll go ahead and uh, just pull this out okay. really quick. I don't want to cook it any longer. Now I'm going to use the tongs. So you see? Tong time. There, there you go. Now I'm going to use the tongs. There you go. All right. And then we'll take our dressing here. Give it a final. I'm saying that mustard, though, is raw. You said raw. It's a whole grain. A whole grain mustard. Yep. Okay. And if you're not hip on whole grain, you can do whatever you want. But the whole grain just gives the plate just more of a. I was just going to It's say, a really nice kind of look, really you know. Cool. Yeah. Really cool. I'm just going to go around a little bit more. Maybe put a little bit on the fish. I've never used whole grain mustard, so now I'm gonna have to. It looks so neat. And then you know you don't want to overdo it, mm -hmm. but well, try to keep your try you to keep can, your you colors. You can overdo the greens though. You can overdo well, yeah, that. Yeah, you don't want to you don't want to bury your fish underneath them. Is what I'm <laughs> getting at. You know, it looks beautiful. Yeah. More than not. So, and there you go. You got seared halibut, a uh, truffled whole grain mustard sauce, and some uh, dressed uh, pea tendrils. It looked easy. All right, we're going to have this recipe on fullplate.tv and also a link to Mancy's if you're in Toledo. You have many different Mancy's options. Again, they're going to be also featured in Restaurant Week here in the Toledo area. When we come back, we have a whole different dish still on the light and healthy menu. Again, I don't have to cook the best week ever. Thank you. Thank you. Good job.